Let's take a quick look at how to use musical mode with the included content sets to not only have audio loops that fit in the same tempo, but also match tonality. So let's start a project and say we want to build a project using our different samples that come with Cubase. So let's say I want to use this drum loop. So I'm going to double click and because it has the metadata in it, it's automatically imported with musical mode activated. So if I want to play this with in conjunction with my project tempo, we could hear that it's going to match. If I select the event and I want it to deactivate musical mode so that we could have it play at its original tempo, I would go to the info line and turn off musical mode. And now as we play, So with musical mode on, it automatically matches to our grid. So let's add a bass part. Now when we add other instrument parts that have different tonalities, we realize that sometimes these may clash with each other. So let's go ahead and just listen to a couple bass parts. Okay, so I like that one. So I'm gonna drop that in and we see that that automatically aligns to the grid. So the tempo is working well. Let's add a string part. Okay, so let's add that. Uh, let's add maybe a synth pad. Okay, so we'll add that and let's add like maybe a synth lead. Okay, so now we're gonna play these together and let's listen to it and see how they're going to kind of just fit directly in. So when we listen to this musically, these are probably playing in different keys and are not really unified. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this a couple of times. And when we want to have the tonality aspects of the loops kind of to be set the same, we could do this by adding the project root key function. So if we go to our setup window, we're going to make sure that the project root key is checked. And it looks like this where we see the little eighth notes and I'm going to now set a particular root key. So while it's playing, like I say, I want this all to be playing in the key of E. Or switch to A. Now, if I wanted to do like almost a transposition in the middle, we could come to the bottom and let's add a transpose track. So I'm going to say at this point, when the song starts in the middle, after it repeats, I want it to go up a whole step and I wanted to return back to its root key at that point. So as we listen to it, now all the audio tonalities of the loops are in sync with each other and aligned musically. And as we play through, we'll have the root key return. So while many people think of musical mode as just being for aligning the tempo of different loops, it can also align the tonality of the loops by using the project root key function. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel.